Today, I'm going to show you how to sound like this, or even if you wanted to sound like this, on both your stream, your Discord, and pretty much any other application you want. G'day everyone, it's me Drew and today we're going to be going through a voice mod slash audio rendering tutorial showing you how to get your voice mod voice effects coming through to OBS and Discord and Zoom and Skype and pretty much any other application you want all at the same time. Look, I've had countless laughs of having the chipmunk voice to have it activated by a viewer or someone else in the call and we just have a continuous giggle fit for about the two minutes until they decide to turn it back off. So I'm going to show you how to get this set up in your stream as well. So for step one, which I feel like I shouldn't have to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway, is download and install voice mod. Now, for those of you that do stream on Mac, unfortunately, this is where your journey is gonna end as voice mod is currently only available for Windows. I have gone through all their discords before and their forums, and they say they are working on voice mod for Mac, but they don't have any estimated release dates or anything like that at the moment. So I would put a big asterisk on that one for now. But as soon as they do announce something, I will make a video for it so you can always subscribe to the channel to keep in the loop there. So once you have installed voice mod, you will see a layout like this. I have some favorites up the top here, but essentially you have all your voices down below as well. Um, you do get all the voices in the pro version um, and you only get some during the free version, but I'm pretty sure to get pros of one shot purchase. So once you get this all set up and you're happy and you started using it for a while, I would definitely recommend getting the pro version as well. But essentially to start getting this all set up, you're going to your settings and we're gonna be looking at the input and the output devices. Now to clarify, the input is your input device, so that would be your microphone, and the output device isn't where you wanna send the audio, but it's in the situation that you wanna hear yourself. So for example, if you enable a speech jammer, where you want that sounds to come through to. So you want those to be your headphones. So for the input devices, we got mic in Elgato Wave 3. For example, if I wanted to use the microphone on my headset or my webcam, I can choose those two options here. Um, but since we do have Wavelink installed, we do also have all these extra other ones here. So if you do use Wavelink and you have a bunch of filters and effects on your microphone that you want coming through to voice mod for when you've got clean audio, you want to select Wavelink microphone FX here. But if you're just using the straight raw microphone input, then you can just choose mic in. And again, for the output device, you can choose either your speakers or your speakers in your headset, depending on what you're currently using. Since I was testing some stuff before, I was sending it through the speakers, but I'm gonna change that and send that through to the headset. Now, do be careful as well if you're switching this on the fly, especially during the stream. If you change your speakers or if you change your input device, the audio will cut for a second. So I'll actually quickly show you. So if I go to change it to you can probably tell that you couldn't hear me for a couple seconds. So that's as the input was changing. If I change it back, again, you couldn't just hear what I was saying. So do be careful if you're gonna be changing these on the fly during stream. So now that we have everything set up in voice mod, let's go into Discord and we're gonna to wanna to go into our voice and video settings. And what we're gonna to wanna to look at is going to our input device and our output device. So again, the input device, we're gonna choose the microphone and the output device is where you want your voice chat to go through. So ideally your headphones. Or if you're using any audio routing software, go into the audio routing software for the to them to come out. So for example, I use Wavelink. So if we go into the output devices, I'm gonna send all my output to Wavelink voice chat. So it's gonna go within the voice chat channel within Wavelink, and then I can manage all that in there. However, with the microphone, um, you can choose default. You don't want to choose microphone in or the microphone effects in. So it's essentially what that's gonna do is that's gonna just use the raw microphone input straight into Discord. What we do wanna select instead is microphone voice mod virtual audio device. So essentially, if we change anything within voice mod, that will come through to Discord or again, any other software. So if you're using Zoom, if you're using Skype, if you're using any other recording software, for example, GarageBand or something, you wanna choose microphone voice mod virtual audio device. GarageBand's actually a bad example because that's only on mic if you're using, sorry, Audacity or something like that. You wanna choose microphone voice mod virtual audio device. So essentially, if your microphone isn't coming from the actual microphone, it's coming from voice mod. There is one important thing you want to do, especially in Discord, is you want to look at the input sensitivity. So if you haven't done anything, chances are this is just going to be on. Now, Discord does a very good job in terms of getting rid of any background noises and getting rid of any low frequencies that it doesn't think is a voice. However, if you do use any low frequency or low pitch voice effects, for example, the demon voice effect, Discord is most likely going to think that it's just noise and cut off half of what you're saying. 
To get around that, you wanna turn off the automatic determine input sensitivity setting. You wanna make sure that whenever you're talking that it's in the green. If you notice that your voice sometimes goes in the yellow, you can just use this slider and change that setting from there. And lastly, of course, if you wanna get that coming into OBS, all you have to do is you just create an audio input capture. We'll call it voice mod microphone. And from the drop down settings, we're gonna choose microphone voice mod virtual audio, audio device. device. And now because I'm recording, I'm just gonna turn the volume off here. But now that we have that input device coming through to OBS, if we enable any voice effects, that will come through to your stream as well. But yeah, I hope this quick tutorial did help you spruce up your stream a little bit more, getting a voice mod voice effects coming through, not just for your viewers, but also for your other teammates in Discords and everything like that. If you did find this helpful, you can always give the video a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you do have any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to leave it down in the comments below. I am planning to make a couple more videos like this in the future. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's me, Drew, and I'll see you next time.